Hello all you coin aficionados out there and welcome to the DC Coin World International Coin Channel. Today we have an interesting coin for you from who knows where. We know it's an African coin video because we have got out our African coin jar and in order to speed things up a little bit I have um, just dumped it right out of the jar and put it right here. And it's very interesting just to look at. It says George the Sixth Rex Imperator. So we're pretty uh, used to seeing George the Sixth uh, by the grace of God, or George the Sixth King and Emperor of England, or those type of uh, monikers on coins. And this one says Rex Imperator or King Emperor. So. In case you haven't gathered or guessed, this is actually a coin from South Africa. It's a coin from South Africa from 1942. And this is a lot, you know, when I looked at it, I go, well, South Africa was not part of Britain in 1942, and they had the war with Britain and everything else, but it turns out that Britain and South Africa had a reconciliation of sorts, and in uh, 1931, they established the Commonwealth Nations. And those Commonwealth Nations, including Britain, um, banded together, and South Africa was one of the original ones, and oddly enough, Newfoundland, Canada was one of the original ones, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, was an original, but didn't actually sign on until later. And um, then they have actually gotten other um, nations in since then. So here's what it says. It says South Africa here. It says 1942 at the top. Sweet Africa. It says an Africanus over here. And down at the bottom, this is really interesting. This is a one farthing coin or one quarter of a penny. So this value of this coin is one nine hundred and sixtieth of a pound. So South Africa was using the pound system back then. Uh, this was one nine hundred and sixtieth of it, or what in Britain would be called one farthing. It is a bronze coin, 2.83 grams, 1.43 millimeters in diameter, and... I mean, 20.2 uh, millimeters in diameter, 1.43 millimeters in thickness. On the back, we have two cape sparrows. So there's two sparrows here, and they're perched on, this is an acacia branch, and these are acacia berries uh, down below it. Here we have the four um, dots around the star, kind of a, a symbol you see on some, some South African coins, and you see the same thing over here. And here it's one quarter D, or one fourth penny, or in common parlance, this would be one farthing. In 1942, we think they made about 3.75 million of these. Now, we need to remember that in uh, 1942, Great Britain and South Africa were at war in World War II. They weren't at war with each other, but they were on the same side in World War II. The metal content in this coin was actually changed in 1942 from the 1941 because of that. And they took a little bit of the copper out, uh, almost all of the zinc out, and added a little, I mean, almost all of the tin out, and added a little zinc. So this coin is 95% copper, 0.005% zinc and 0.045, I mean 0.045% zinc and 0.005% tin. So to clear that up again, they took a bunch of the tin out. They added a little copper, they added a little zinc. Now apparently tin was more important in the war effort than copper and zinc were, and so they substituted that in this coin. It's a beautiful coin to look at. Uh, it's a relatively small coin. It's about the size of a U.S. penny. Um, and it has great carvings, uh, great engravings on it. Nice circle here, beaded inner rim. 
and again on the back we have this moniker which I have not seen uh, very often and that's George the sixth King Imperator or King Emperor. That's all we have today from the DC Coin World International Coin Channel for our Africa Monday morning coin videos. Uh, we have been starting to get a lot more uh, rare and newer and expensive coins and we've been getting them from a local coin dealer called Twin City Gold in Biddeford, Maine. And so you'll see the Twin City Gold uh, information under underneath our videos because they're kind of helping us out uh, with the channel in terms of letting us use coins. And so we mention them as we get coins. This one didn't come from them, but they do have some lots of new and very uh, rare and expensive South African coins for you to look at if you're interested. Have a great day from DC Coin World International Coin Channel.